welcome to Kiki Crochet. In this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to crochet step by step the basic beanie hat. I call it basic because it's a beanie hat that's suitable for men, women and children. And you can use it as a base to create any design that you prefer. Um, as you can make it multicolor, you can leave it solid color as I do, you can change color in every row, in every two rows, you can crochet a pleat and sew it on the hat, depending uh, if you want to make it for children, okay? So you can use it as a base to create a very nice design of your own, and in the end we're going to work the rib stitch to give a nice edging on our beanie hat. Now, let's see the material that I'm going to use and how to start. The yarn that I'm going to use is Alize Super Lana Midi, which is 75% acrylic and 25% wool. Each skein is 3.53 ounces and 186 yards. And I'm going to crochet with a 5mm crochet hook. So let's start. Okay, so now we're going to start, and I'm using the same yarn but in a different color, so it's so the steps that I'm working are more visible. Okay. So I'm going to start with my magic circle. If you do not know how to work the magic circle, go ahead and chain 4, slip stitch in the 4th chain to form a ring, and whatever I work in the center of my magic ring, go ahead and work in your ring as well. Okay, so take the yarn and wrap it around your two fingers once and bring it on the top left. Now put your hook under the right yarn and over the left one and bring it over. Turn your hook around once to form a loop, grab the left yarn and pull it through the loop. Okay, so by doing this you have secured your magic circle, but as well we have our first chain. Work two more, so my three chains count as my first double crochet and I need a total of 12 in the center of my magic circle. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. Now grab the yarn that you started your magic circle with and pull it tight. So this is row number 1 with a total of 12 double crochet. Now count from the bottom to the top and put your hook in the third chain to work a slip stitch. Okay. And again, chain three. One, two, three, and turn your work to start row number two. In every new row that we start, we always turn our work, and this helps us to have a straight seam in the end. So three chains, and put your hook in the same stitch as the slip stitch right over here, and work one more double crochet. By doing this, we have worked the first two double crochet in the same stitch. Now in row 2 we want to work 2 double crochet in every stitch all around for a total of 24 stitches. Okay, so next stitch, 3, same stitch, 4, next stitch, 5, same stitch, 6, next stitch, 7, same stitch, 8, and keep working to double crochet in every stitch for a total of 24 stitches. I have completed row number 2 with a total of 24 double crochet. Now put your hook in the first stitch, which is the third chain counting from the bottom to the top. Slip stitch, chain 3, 1, 2, 3, and turn your work. Again, in the slip stitch, go ahead and work one more double crochet. And by doing this, we have worked an increase in the beginning of our row, two double crochet in the same stitch. Now, 
In this row, in row number three, we are going to be working an increase in every second stitch. So in the next stitch, work one double crochet. In the next stitch, work two double crochet in the same stitch. One, same stitch, two. Next stitch, one double crochet. Next stitch, two double crochet in the same stitch. One, same stitch, two. So keep working this pattern all around, where in the last stitch right over here, you will have worked your one double crochet if you have corrected if you have crocheted correctly. Okay, so the second before the end is going to be the two double crochet, and the last stitch is going to be the one double crochet, and you will have a total of 36 double crochet in the end of the row. I have completed crocheting row number three with a total of 36 double crochet, and as you see, my last stitch is my one double crochet. Now put your hook in the first stitch and work a slip stitch, chain three, and turn your work. Okay, again in the very first stitch in the slip stitch over here, work one more double crochet. By doing this, we have the increase in the beginning of the row. Now, in row 4, we're going to be working an increase in every third stitch. So, in, in the first two stitches, work one double crochet, one, next stitch, two. In the third stitch, work your increase to double crochet in the same stitch, one, same stitch, two. Again, in the first double crochet, in the first two stitches, work one double crochet, one, next stitch, two. In the third stitch, work your increase to double crochet in the same stitch, one, same stitch, two. Now keep working an increase in every third stitch up until you finish the row, where the last two stitches are going to be one double crochet in the last two stitches. We're going to have a total of 48 double crochet in the end of row number 4. I have completed row number 4 with a total of 48 stitches. Now put your hook in the first stitch and work a slip stitch. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3, and turn your work. Again, in the first stitch, right here in the slip stitch, work a double crochet. So I have an increase in the beginning of my row. And now in row five, I want to work an increase in every fourth stitch. So work one double crochet in the first three stitches. One, two, three. In the fourth stitch, work your increase to double crochet in the same stitch. One, and Two. Continue one double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. In the fourth stitch, worker increase to double crochet in the same stitch. One, same stitch, two. So keep repeating the pattern all around where the last three stitches one, two, three, are going to be one double crochet in the last three stitches, and in row five, we're going to have a total of 60 double crochet. I have completed crocheting row five with a total of 60 double crochet. Now put your hook in the first stitch for this row and work a slip stitch. Now, the diameter of my circle at this point is at 14 centimeters, okay? And this is how wide I want my circle to be, 14 to 14 and a half. Okay, now from here on, I'm going to be crocheting one double crochet in every stitch for a total of 60 stitches in every row. And the total height for a women's beanie hat needs to be 22 centimeters, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop at 19 centimeters and then we're going to work a few rows of the rib stitch, okay, to reach the 22 centimeters. Now, so from here on, I'm always going to be chaining three, 
one, two, three. Always turn your work to have a straight seam. Never again crochet in the slip stitch because if you do, you're going to be working an increase. Start crocheting from the first double crochet. One, two, three, sorry, it's one, my chain three, two, three, four. Okay, so keep crocheting one double crochet in every stitch up until the end for a total of 60 stitches. Now if you want to change colors to make a multicolor hat as I have in the beginning of the video in the photo, what you can do is when you do your slip stitch, when you work your slip stitch, okay, take the new color and pull it through the loop, tighten up the yellow loop and work your three chains with the new color. One, two, three. Turn your work, start crocheting from the first stitch, okay, one double crochet in every stitch. Okay, this is how you change your color. Now go ahead and finish row number 6 with 60 single crochet. Once I finish, I'm going to turn my video back on. I have completed crocheting my 6th row with 1 double crochet in every stitch. And see how my circle is no longer flat. My hat has started to build up. Now, from the top, from the very top up here, Up until you reach the 19 centimeters, work one double crochet in every stitch. Okay, once I reach my 19 centimeters, I'm going to turn my video back on to see how to work the last rows of the rib stitch. I have completed crocheting my head so far, and look how beautiful and how perfect it's coming down. Okay, now we're going to work. I have worked a total of 16 rows so far to reach the centimeters that I mentioned before I turned my video off. And now we're going to work a few rows of rib stitch in order to make this edging, this ending in the end. Okay? So I am at row 16 and I have worked a slip stitch. And now we're gonna start our rib stitch. So I'm going to chain two and I'm gonna turn my work. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work one front post, one back post. So yarn over once and the first stitch right over here is going to be a front post double crochet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hook from the front to the back on the right side of the stitch to the front again on the left side and work a double crochet. The next stitch is going to be a back post double crochet. So put your hook from the back to the front on the right side, to the left again on the left side, to the uh, back again, sorry, on the left side, and we're going to work a double crochet. Yarn over once put your hook around the next stitch and work a front post double crochet. Okay. Put your hook around the next stitch and work a back post double crochet. So keep repeating the steps up until you complete the row and you reach right here at the end where the last stitch is either going to be a front post or a back post. So keep working one front post, double crochet, and one back post, double crochet. Once I finish, I'm going to turn my video back on. I have completed crocheting the row. The last stitch was a front post double crochet. So now put your hook in the second chain counting from the bottom to the top and work a slip stitch. Now chain two again and keep your work in the same direction. Do not turn your work. Okay, 
So now again, starting from the first stitch, I want to keep the same direction on the stitches. So the first stitch is a front post double crochet, so I'm going to keep working a front post double crochet around the stitch. The next stitch is a back post double crochet, but because the stitch is not that visible, just pull it up with your fingers, okay? and work a back post double crochet around the next stitch. The next stitch is a front post double crochet, so work a front post double crochet around the stitch. The next stitch is a back post double crochet, so put your hook around the next stitch, pull it backwards and work a back post double crochet. So again, keep working one front post, one back post, and once I crochet around the last stitch, a front post double crochet, I'm going to turn my video back on. I have completed crocheting all around. My last stitch was a uh, front post double crochet, so again, slip stitch on the second chain. Okay, chain two, and start to the third and last row for the rib stitch. Again, the first stitch is a front post double crochet. Second stitch is a back post double crochet. Next stitch is a front post double crochet. Next stitch is a back post double crochet. Okay, so keep working one front post, one back post again up until the end. I'm going to have a front post double crochet. Once I finish, I'm going to turn my video back on to see how our hat looks completed. I have completed crocheting the last row of my rib stitch, again slip stitch on the second chain. Chain one, cut the yarn and fasten off. Okay, and my beanie hat is completed. Okay, and this is how the basic hat looks like. And I call it basic because it's suitable for men, women, and children. You can make it as a solid color as I have. You can make it multicolor. You can change color in every two rows. You can change color in every row. You can do whatever you like with this design. It's super simple. It's easy for beginners. Um, and it's not just simple. It looks nice as well because we have made the rib stitch in the end. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and if you like the video please press like and leave a comment under the video. Thanks again, bye bye!